Hello guys, welcome to this new and exciting video on a Power BI basic series. So in this series, we are going to cover the visuals one by one. So in this series, we are going to discuss how to create specific kind of visual and how to format that particular visual with the available options so that we can visualize the data very easily. So till now, we have seen how to create and format stacked bar chart like this then we have seen how to create and format stacked column chart then we have also learned how to create and format cluster bar chart cluster column chart then difference between stacked bar chart and 100 stacked bar chart and how to format 100 stacked bar chart along with 100 stacked column chart so in this video we are going to learn line and stacked column chart okay i'll just rename it it will be line and stacked column chart So as the name suggests, okay, uh, this particular visual will have column as well as this, this particular visual will have line chart as well. It is a combination of stacked column chart and line chart, okay. Basic definition of line and stacked column chart, okay. So in this particular video, we are going to learn what are the available options uh, for creating line and stacked column chart along with the proper formatting of line and stacked column chart. So let us select the visual. So already I have loaded the data in my Power BI report. So I have given the link of data set in the description box. So what you can do, you can just download the data set and you can also load the data set, okay. So I'll just select the visual. I'll drag it into the center. <clears throat> okay. Now, first thing, let's select the visual and see. First, we have to define x-axis. What we're going to show on x-axis. Okay. So let us say we want to show departments on x-axis. So I'll just drag departments on x-axis. Okay. Now the next thing is what we are going to show on y-axis in the form of columns. Okay. Note. See, here two types of y-axis are there, line y-axis and column y-axis. So column y-axis means what we want to show in the form of bars. Okay. So let's say we want to show medication cost on in the form of bars. Okay, so I've just tracked the visual is prepared. Okay, now the next option which is available here is what we want to show as a line. Okay, on y axis. So let's say we want to show total treatment cost as a line chart. So I'll just drag this one. Done. So this is nothing but line and stacked column chart. Okay, now right now our column is in the form of bar, it is not in the form of stack. Okay, to make in the form of stack, what we have to do, we have to add the legend. So what we can do, we can add insurance provider. Okay in column legend. So what it will do, it will divide the bar according to the insurance provider like this. This is done. So this is complete line and stacked column chart. Now, what is the next thing? Small multiples. Okay. So what is small multiples? We have already seen our previous video. Let's say we want to create same chart for different department. Okay. So it will be very time consuming. So for that, what we can do, we can just drag. Oh, sorry, let's say we want to create same chart for different diagnosis. Okay, same chart for different diagnosis. So for creating the same chart for each and every diagnosis, it will be difficult. So instead of that, what you can do, you can just drag diagnosis to the small multiple field. It will create the same chart. Okay, based on diagnosis for appendicitis, we have different chart for asthma. We have different chart for fracture. We have different chart for hypertension. We have different chart. But if you remove diagnosis, so this chart is prepared by comparing or based on all the values which is provided in the data set. Okay. After small multiples, we have tooltip options. So what is tooltip? Now, if you take your cursor on this one, so right now it is showing department is orthopedics, insurance provider is AXA, and the total medication cost is 44086. If you want to show more information here, so what you have to do, you have to just drag the any field into tooltips. For example, let's say we'll drag total patient in tooltip. Now, along with the previous information, it will also show total patient as information. You can see the total number of patient is 408. Okay, so this was the available option for creating the chart. Now let us see how to format this chart precisely. Okay, so first thing is we have to define the size of the chart. So what I'll do, I'll select size as 480 for height and for width, I'll select 1000 pixel like this. And I'll just drag this particular chart at the center. Now, the first thing is we have to decide the background of canvas. So canvas is nothing but a place where we create the visuals. Okay, the place where, the, where we create the visual is called as canvas. So what I'll do, I'll select the canvas color as black. Okay, even though I have selected the color, but color is not visible because of the transparency. So I'll reduce the transparency to zero so that the canvas background color is clearly visible. Now, next thing is, if you observe carefully, it is looking very awkward that our visual background is having white color and our canvas background is having black color. So what I'll do, I'll just change the background color of our visual as well to black. Okay, so to change the background color of our visual, we have to select the visual. We have to select this option format your visual and we have to go to general setting. So first is properties. So property is nothing but size of the visual which we have already defined. Then for title. So right now the title is sum of medication cost. Okay, we'll decide title later. Okay, right now I'll go to effect. I'll decide the color as black. Okay, transparency zero. This is fine. Then I also want border for my visual. So I'll just enable this button. Right now border is not visible because of uh, the border is black in color. So what I'll do, I'll select white here and I'll just make this corner rounded instead of this crisp corner okay for example if i click on the canvas you can see our border is prepared okay and it has rounded corner but i want to increase the size of the border okay 
right now it is having one pixel so i'll just increase it to two pixels so then border will be clearly visible okay then the next thing is right now there is no shadow for our visual if you want to create a shadow you have to just enable this button now shadow color is black we'll change the color to white now if you observe carefully the shadow is visible on bottom and towards right side because the position of the shadow currently selected is bottom and right okay you can change the position also based on the given option then uh yeah this is fine okay now if you select the visual okay now if you are looking on the information the information is not clearly visible because the because of text color okay text color is also black background is also black because of that it is not clearly visible so we'll just format it okay i'll select the visual i'll go to format your visual option after that uh what i'll do i'll first format x-axis so i'll just click on this drop down now what are the values which are present on x-axis the font color is black so i'll first make font color as white i'll increase the size okay i'll make it bold as well then then next thing is the title of x axis is currently department okay which is not clearly visible so i'll just make it bold i'll increase the size and i'll make font color as white done okay then we have already formatted x axis now now let us format y axis so right now the range is fine okay minimum and maximum value is fine if you want to change the range of y axis you can do so with the help of this one okay now if you want to invert y axis you can enable this so it is not looking that good right so we'll just change invert y axis means now if you observe carefully these values are starting from zero to maximum right if you click on inverse so it will start from maximum to zero like this now what are the values are present on y axis is having text color as black or gray so i'll select it as white i'll make it bold and i'll increase the size to 12 so that it will be clearly visible and i'll do same formatting for title present on y axis as well so bold increase size and text color as white. Well. now what is next thing now it has to uh, if you observe this visual carefully it has two y-axis okay this one is the primary y-axis and this one is the secondary y-axis still now we have formatted primary y-axis now let us format secondary y-axis okay so again we can define the range for secondary y-axis okay now what are the values which are present on secondary y-axis we can format that we'll make it bold we'll increase the size like this and text color as white well. Now, what title present on secondary y axis? So, same, the title is there, but it is not visible because of text color. So, now it will be visible. Now, what are legend? So, there's uh, providers, okay, insurance provider, these are nothing but the legion. Okay, so to format the legend, you can just click on the drop down. If you don't want legend, you can disable this. So, there will be no legend, but this is insufficient information, right? So, we have to just enable it and give the legend. So, currently, the position of the legend is top left. We'll select top center. Okay, then next thing is, mm, yeah legend text so we'll make it bold we'll increase the size and we'll select text color as white so that it will be clearly visible then yeah currently the title of legend is insurance provider right title of legend is insurance provider so if you don't want title you can disable this okay if you want you can enable this then we have grid line as well on our graph so what i'll do i'll select the color of grid line as this yellow one i'll Okay, I'll put transparency to zero. Instead of dotted line, I'll select solid line and I'll increase the width of the grid line to two pixels so that it will be clearly visible. And our chart is looking really good now. Okay, and see, if you want to give zoom slider, you can give this as well. So what you can do, you can change the values present on axis with the help of zoom slider, like this. Okay, and this is really good and a cool feature. If you want, if you don't want to give zoom slider on y-axis and if you want to give zoom slider on secondary y-axis, you can do the same. Or if you want to do it on both, you can also do it. If you want to give slider labels, you can do so. If you want to give slider tool tips, you can enable this button. Okay. Now, if you want to change the color of these particular columns, okay, you can do with the help of this one. So currently the series selected is also what we'll do. I'll select one by one. So for Allianz, Alias, I'll give this one. Okay. Then for Aviva, I'll select this color. And at last for Exa, I'll select the darker color. Okay. Now for line, what I'll do. Okay, if you want border for the graph, you can enable this, or else you can uh, border for on this particular bars. Okay. You can enable or disable. Now for line see we have only one line line style is solid if you want that particular line as dashed you can do so if you want dotted you can also change the formatting like this so what i'll do i'll take dashed okay then you can change the joint type as well and right now the width of line style is three pixel and it is looking really cool then you can change the color of line so what i'll do i can select white but it is not that clearly visible so i'll select somewhat darker color i'll check which color is yeah this is looking good right yeah then if you want markers right you can enable this so this particular markers are nothing but these dots which are present online then if you want to show shaded area you can enable this okay if you uh, now the next thing is 
if you visualize the data right now we cannot directly tell values what is the value of this one okay what is the value of this one so for that we can enable this data label so that it will show the values very clearly okay so what we can do mm, i have enabled the data label now you can see the values are clearly visible okay you can format the values okay i'll make it bold instead of this one we can select white okay and the background color for this one we can select black okay so that values will be clearly visible and right now if you observe carefully our chart is looking really good okay now this is done okay yeah this much formatting is cool so what we have learned in today's video so we have learned that how to use line and stacked column chart okay you can create line and stacked bar chart as well you have to just change the axis so it means that whatever things you have shown on this particular visual okay on y axis you have to make it on x axis like that okay so it is very easy then the next thing is um, uh, we have learned how to format line and stacked column chart and what are the possible ways what uh, what are the what is, what information we can show on this particular visual we have learned these particular things okay so if you have any doubts regarding line and stacked column chart you can comment in the comment box okay i'll i'll happy to help you i have given the data set you can also try to create the same visual you can practice this okay and then yeah i hope you have liked this video thank you for joining with me thank you okay so what we have learned in today's video so one more th oh, sorry the last thing which is remaining in this particular visual is uh, we don't have title visible clearly right so uh, for the chart so what we can do you can just go to page information sorry uh, we have to select the visual first go to format your visual go to general and select title so right now the title is sum of medication cost okay so i'll remove some of now it is medication cost then comma i'll put treatment costs okay and total patient good by department and insurance provider okay the title is not clearly visible because of text color so i'll make text color as white okay i'll increase the size and i'll right now the title is aligned towards left so i'll just center align it and if you want to draw one line below the title okay so that you can differentiate it you can you uh, use this toggle button and just enable it so line color is gray i'll make it white and you can increase the size as well so that will be clearly visible Done. so this is the final chart which we have prepared today okay so if you have any doubt in this particular chart how to use line and stack column chart and how to format it so you can comment in the comment box you can ask anything okay i'll happy to help you i hope you have liked today's video thank you for joining with me thank you